Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A very good day to everyone. In this video, we are going to see how you can use Google Scholar effectively. I saw many people are claiming that they are not getting enough articles to support their research arguments. In this video, we are going to share some basic tips to get the most relevant articles for your research reports. I, I think you all are familiar with the Google Scholar. Now, starting the starting point is uh, these PPTs are available at Script. You can download, and I will share the website uh, from where you can download these PPTs. What is the common practice? The common practice uh, we have a topic. Normally students uh, use their complete topic to search at Google. That's not a good practice. So what, what they need to do, they need to break down their topic in key terms to search the most suitable articles for their research report. How to do that? For instance, this is my topic. I want to make key terms out of this topic. I will do it like this. I will break down my topic in particular angle. For instance, in this case, the image of women is a particular uh, angle. Then the time duration. If there is any time duration, you need to mention I'm interested in 1990s, 1950, 2000, whatever. Then if you are interested in any location, for instance, I'm this, uh, doing research on Pakistan, I can uh, focus on Pakistan uh, in key terms as well. And then the main topic of inquiry. Okay. For instance, I'm writing here, my topic is insurance and economic growth. I'm searching like this. And most of you are also searching the, this way. Okay, what what I have? I have result here two four five zero triple zero. This is a huge amount of um, results, and out of these results, many of them are uh, irrelevant. They are not uh, as accurate as I need. So what I can do? I need to change it little bit. I need to put quotation mark. One of my key term is insurance and the other one is economic growth. Okay, then, then you need to change small and into capital and if you are writing small and the result will be a bit different. And if you want more accurate results, you need to write and the capital one. Now look at the change. Here a significant reduction has occurred from the previous result that was around 245, 245 this much. And now we have this much. So using this um, inverted commas, it will provide you more accurate, more specific results that you are looking for. You can do this the same thing in this way by putting plus sign. Again, you have insurance. In addition to insurance, there must be economic growth. Plus sign says include economic growth as well when there is an article of insurance you can write minus as well which means exclude something i need an article that is written on insurance but that doesn't talk about economic growth then you can put a minus sign to exclude something out of your research look here